QWERTY smartphones are ideal for serial message senders, and the rise of social networking has driven demand for these keyboard-toting handsets. But it's not all about their QWERTY superpowers. Being feature-packed is equally important, so we've put a series of handsets to the test and have broken it down into our top five. At number five, it's the Acer Neo Touch P300. It may have an eye-catching 3.2-inch screen, a spacious keyboard geared for long messages, and offer a nifty browsing experience, but this Windows mobile phone doesn't have the performance to match and is let down by a temperamental touchscreen, sluggish processor, and plasticky casing. At number four, it's the user-friendly Palm Pixie Plus. No rival QWERTY enables you to bang out messages one-handed or switch between apps and features so effortlessly. And while it may be a multitasking wizard, thanks to its flexible WebOS with an intuitive panel system for apps and a very tactile keyboard, it doesn't quite make it into our top three based on its camera's poor picture quality and lack of content in Palm's app catalogue. Coming in at number three, it's the Sony Ericsson XT Mini Pro. This teeny Android smartphone manages to squeeze a slide-out keyboard and 5 megapixel camera into its credit card size frame. But despite this, the keyboard is surprisingly roomy, with raised buttons making it great for speed typing. Underneath its responsive touchscreen, you'll find a tweaked Android-based interface. Each home screen, and you can have up to 20 of them, is limited to just one widget each. But the four corner icons can be customised to launch your favourite features, and its Timescape social media hub makes it really user-friendly. So if you've been put off QWERTY smartphones due to size, the Mini Pro could change that. Our number two spot goes to the BlackBerry Bold 9700, which is still one of the best phones for email. And in terms of design and ergonomics, its keyboard is the best of all five. The tactile keys are easy and instinctive to type on, even without punctuation keys. Now the Bold is a traditional messenger, so there's no touchscreen. It does, however, sport a resistive, touch-sensitive optical trackpad, and is helped by BlackBerry's foolproof operating system, which includes customizing menu icons with your top six on the homepage for easy access. Setting up emails is done via a computer, but the inconvenience is minimal, and coupling this with a thumb-friendly keyboard makes the 9700 Bold a top-class messenger. So taking home the crown is the Nokia E72. Firstly, its style and multimedia skills wipe the floor with the rest. Its 5 megapixel camera captures sharp photos, there's a quality music player on board, and it now packs Nokia's free OV Maps satnav. All pretty good for a messaging phone. The domed buttons are easy to type on and there are dedicated punctuation keys as with the X10 Mini Pro. Its dated Symbian S60 OS lets it down slightly, but it is customizable with room for up to six shortcuts and email and instant messaging notifications at the top. Its push email setup rivals Blackberries for ease of use and even though Nokia's OV store isn't exactly overflowing, it offers a decent choice of apps and games. So there you have it, not only does the Nokia E72 have a great QWERTY, but this is fused together with an impressive slew of features and multimedia capabilities. And that's why it's our winner.